Tesla Giga Berlin is carving a path that other manufacturers could follow Tesla Giga Berlin's suite very soon. In this report, I'm going to tell you what is going on with that. You know, friends, in Brandenburg, Tesla wants to cast large parts of the car body in one piece for the first time. For this purpose, Giga Press from Italy are to be delivered to Grünheide. Uh, other manufacturers could follow that suite soon. Why? Tesla is known to do a lot of things differently. The company also wants to break new ground in production instead of assembling the body of a car from many individual parts, as is common with other manufacturers that make cars. Large parts at Tesla are to be cast from one piece in the future. With the help of huge aluminum casting robots that are about the size of a small house. The so-called Giga Presses enable a completely new type of car production, said Katja Legner from the ADAC Automobile Association. Two or at the end only one component are created after this Giga casting. Now in Brandenburg, Tesla even wants to go further than that because we had already reported about that uh, months ago. The printing machines were developed by the Italian manufacturer IDRA, two of which have been in the Tesla factory in Fremont in the US and three in China since the beginning of the year. When I said printing machines, I meant the Giga castings. There, they produce the rare frame part of the Tesla Model Y electric crossover in one piece, which in the previous Model 3 still consists of 70 individual parts. In Grünheide, where Tesla is building its Giga Berlin factory and its battery factory, Tesla wants to go even further. According to company plans, eight of the machines, weighing several tons, are to be used there and, in addition to the rear, also manufacture the front underbody from a single cast. This was confirmed to RBB from Tesla Circles, the automobile magazine Tesla Mag reported on it first though. Okay, again, Tesla at Giga Berlin is going to do something very innovative that it is not doing at Giga Factory Shanghai or in the Fremont factory. In addition to um, casting the back of the car in one piece, they're also going to uh, manufacture the front underbody from a single cast, and which was this information was confirmed to RBB24, which is Brandenburg's public radio, uh, from Tesla Circus. And like I said, the automobile magazine Tesla Mag reported on its first, saying, this is a great innovation that cuts the production costs of these parts by 40%, said Stefan Bratzel from the Center for Automotive Management, Automotive Research Institute in Bergisch Gladbach in North Rhine-Westphalia. And he said, this technology will later also be used in other Tesla factories, but initially it will be used in Brandenburg. But look until I say that other car manufacturers may follow Tesla suite soon. Now, the advantage of the Giga Press, instead of many small welding robots, only a few large machines will be required. The vehicles can be produced faster, which saves costs and that ultimately has an effect on the vehicle's price, continued Bratzel. Now, like I said, other manufacturers could follow the suite soon. Why? The automotive expert is convinced that other manufacturers will soon follow suite with the large die casting machines, basically following what Tesla has been already doing and the innovation that Tesla is carving at Giga Berlin. The automotive industry always endeavors to reduce the complexity of production and to keep the number of individual parts as low as possible because many parts increase the production production effort and ultimately also the cost, especially considered that many parts are coming from different parts of the world. And this virus situation uh, proved that you need to localize as much as possible your parts production. And this is where the industry is going, led by Tesla. In response to a request from RBB, the ADAC said that, quote, other manufacturers will rely on this technology. At Volkswagen, the possible use of large cast components is already being examined, said company spokesman Andreas Hofbauer. 
Decisions on, for, on future use have not yet been made because numerous aspects still need to be clarified, such as the question of quality assurance and integration into existing plans worldwide. A spokesman for Mercedes-Benz explained, Basically, we are continuously reviewing new technologies for our vehicle production and innovations in casting technology. We are currently already using large cast components in the latest vehicle platforms. You see, basically, RBB is reporting on Volkswagen and Mercedes considering to follow Tesla suite in die casting and using gigapresses. Now, but there are potential risks. RBB says Stefan Bretzel sees disadvantages in die casting machines when there are production errors. The larger the part, the higher the costs. For example, if a press does not work or the materials are defective in some way, for small parts, quality assurance should also ensure that the individual parts that could be produced are sensible but can be exchanged more easily. Nevertheless, the automotive expert does not believe that such problems will occur on a larger scale with the gigapresses. He is certain the die casting machines will soon be in other factories as well. Well, friends, let me know what do you think about these die casting machines and uh, uh, doesn't it leave you in peace that the, the materials are uh, the, in the process of one piece? Um, but the only other risk that I have been seeing and you have guys reported in the past is what if there is an accident? That means the entire body needs to change. These days, if there is a minor accident with your car, you can change a small part and be done with it. But now, can they? How will, will the entire car be totaled if there is an accident? I don't know. But you know, other companies following Tesla suites, you know, Tesla has revolutionized automotive sales with its sales model because the cars are sold directly to the consumer. This has been a practice that has worked well for Tesla and many other car companies could follow Tesla's leads here too. Tesla has changed automotive sales with its sales model and the reality is that this will have some lasting implications friends. The business environment of the past 18 months has helped to accelerate some of these trends. Car buying will now be done more in the online space and there will likely be less people who go from dealer to dealer looking at cars because I see a lot of people are going you know, buying cars even on eBay. Many of the changes that are being brought about by the adoption of new sales models may not be so pleasant for buyers in certain aspects. Tesla is not a very high volume car maker by any stretch. Tesla has moved many more units recently than in years past, but it still pales in comparison to companies such as Ford, which sold over 2 million vehicles in the United States during 2022. Uh, I'm sorry, during 2020. Some large dealerships groups are expected to sell some dealerships. Uh, I heard uh, it might not make sense to have so many dealerships as more people are looking to buy cars online. So Tesla is leading here as well. So what are your thoughts on all of these friends and uh, Mercedes and Volkswagen considering giga castings, other car companies trying to sell their dealerships and following Tesla's lead there? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. Have a great day. God bless everyone and I'll see you soon. Peace be with all of you.